one another in one spot on the wax paper, and then in another location on the wax paper, add two drops of water on top of one another. So that's fine. Two drops of oil at that one spot, the water on and then another spot, spot add two drops of water on top of each other. Please. Right, right, right. Drop of oil. Two. Yep. Drop of water. Put another one. Together. Make them together. There you go. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Let's try to get a side view. If you get mine, it's better. Okay, I'll get yours in a second. Pretty flat. Okay. Well, whatever. Now, first thing you should do. That's to be together. Please look at the drops of oil and water from the side. Please look at the drops of oil and water from the side. How do the oil and water like differ from one another when you look at them from the side? Where? Is that oil there? Yeah, put it right there. This is that water oil yeah. right here. Okay. Let's please not interrupt your classmates. I'm sorry. So if you look from the side. Okay, good. When you look at it from the side, water forms that nice tall bubble, and the oil is pretty flat when you look at it from the side. All right? This time, please carefully pick up the paper and tilt it from side to side and look at the difference between how the oil and the water drop smooth. That's cool. That is hard. The water is going nice and okay. Again, what's the difference between how the oil and water behave? The oil spreads out. Good. The oil the spreads wild. out, but the water stays in a nice yeah. tight bead, right? The little bubble. Final thing. Please take the oil drop or the water drop <laughs> and roll it directly through the oil. Please take the water drop and roll it directly through the oil. So take the, make the water go through the oil. All right. You can just tilt it. Do it. Now. Yeah. There you go. Paul said a moment ago that... That's another bubble. Yeah. Still a bubble. Water is polar because it has positive and negative ends. What that means is that the water molecules are going to be attracted to one another. The positive end of one water molecule will be attracted to the negative end of another. So for that reason, the water molecules literally are pulling on one another. Since they're pulling on one another, that's why you see the nice tight bead. That's why when you look at it from the side, it forms that uh, rounded dome. Because the water molecules are literally pulling each other into a bead. Now, oil is non-polar. So what do you think that means? Very good. There's no positive negative end in, in oil. 